Hey folks, I'm James. This is a short video which is totally hands and wrist free. So if you've got a wrist injury, fear not, we're not putting any weight in the hands at all. We're still gonna work hard, build up a little bit of energy. Let's get going. So we're gonna start standing at the front of the mat. So come to the front of your mat. And then have your feet about hip distance apart, spread your toes and let your arms hang by your sides, hands turning forwards a little bit. Sense the length of your spine and you might soften the eyes closed and settling into your breath. Allow the breath to be slow and steady, calm. Long, steady breaths. Begin to open the eyes. As you breathe in, reach the arms out of the sides and up, join the palms. Exhale, bend the knees, fold gently down. Keeping your hands off the floor, inhale halfway up, float the fingertips. And now bend your knees and step the left foot back slowly, back knee comes down. Crescent lunge, arms rising. And the fingertips reach gently, and the shoulder blades nice and wide. Take two more deep breaths here, heart lifting and length through the back of the body. Gently gather the palms to your heart, bringing down a little hope and optimism. We're going to turn to the right. My fingertips are just barely touching, there's no pressure in the hands at all. And then inhale back to center, straighten your arms forward, tuck your back toes. We're going to push up into a high lunge position and then bend the back knee down. Three more times. Inhale, lift. Exhale, soften the knee down. Twice more. Make your breath calm. Like a swan, right? Calm on the surface, legs working hard. <laughs> and now open the arms out, warrior two, back heel down. Check your front knee is above your front ankle and really straighten the back leg. Powerful back leg, spread the toes. I like to lift my front hip a little bit here and get a little deeper into the hip, but also stabilize through the glutes. Looking ferociously down your front arm. One more breath. From here, begin to reverse, breath in, palm like an offering to the sky. Begin to straighten your front leg, hands are totally free. And now level the arms again for triangle pose. I'm gonna shorten my stance slightly, it's a little bit long. Inhale, reach forwards. Exhale, suspend the hand down, top arm rising, hold. You might sense the tailbone reaching towards your back heel. Both legs long and active. On your next inhale, bend the front knee, warrior two. Listen closely, step your back forward slightly. We're going into half moon, hands free. Shift the weight forwards, back leg lifts, find the balance. And then lift the back leg, straighten it, but float the right fingertips just above the ground. Three deep breaths here. Really spread the arms wide. That's it. And now gently stepping back into warrior two. From your warrior two, step your back foot forwards about a third of the distance and square your hips to the front of the mat. Could you straighten both legs and start to reach the arms back Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, long spine folding forwards. Send your right hip back, folks. Send your chest forwards. If you have a tendency to lock out that knee, if you're super flexible in your knee, you might bend the knee slightly, keep it working. One more. From here, come back up, arms lift. Slide the front foot four in, in slightly, and then arms come back, warrior three. Back leg reaching, pointing the foot. Get really long in your body. 
And can you keep that back leg active? Point the foot, lift, reach. Option to take your arms forwards for three. Find strength for two. One, step to the front of your mat, mountain pose, palms together. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, chair pose, bend your knees, send the hips back. Option to breathe here or option to twist to your left, maybe even taking the elbow outside the knee. Again, your hands don't have to touch, you could even have them open, or maybe the fingertips resting. Take one full breath here. And then inhale, back to chair pose, palms in front of the heart. And then step the right foot back, back knee down. And Johnny Arson, a crescent lunge, rising. Here we go. Take a moment here. I like to lift up through the front of the pelvis, the pubic bone. Really get the length through the hip flexors on the right side. And the sense of fingertips reaching up for light. Two more breaths. From here, palms gather down, a little courage and strength to your heart. Take a long inhale here. Exhale, turn to your left. As you turn, really feel your oblique switching on. Strong legs, strong core. Coming back to center, arms reach forwards. Tuck your back toes, here we go, boosting up, high lunge. And then lowering the knee, kissing the earth with the knee, and powering back up three more times. The shoulders relaxed, arms feeling light. Arms don't really have to work, the legs do. Let's take one more, last time. And then inhale, exhale, warrior two, back heel down. Again, the legs are really active, back foot pressing away, front hip lifting slightly, but the arms like they're floating on the surface of a lake. You see how much you could relax the shoulders. I'm just sensing the arms are in one line. On your next breath in, reverse, palm lifts. Start to straighten that front leg, get really long, really, really long. And then level the arms off, triangle. Again, you could shorten the stance, that feels better for some people. Reaching and then floating down suspended like a star and settle your breathing in the sense of taking your left rib cage forwards and your left hip back notice it's the same pattern as we'll take into half moon now straight uh, bend the front knee rather step the back foot in slightly and then as you come into that half moon keeping all that length through the sides of the waist, back leg active. Three deep breaths, floating. If you're falling out, fear not. Most of us do most of the time. Takes practice. One more deep breath. And elegantly dismount, place the back foot down, warrior two. From here, step your back foot forwards about a third of the way. And again, leveling your hips to the front of your mat. Arms reach back. As you breathe in, lift the heart. Long front leg as you fold. Think about keeping the front of your body really long. So rather than trying to curl down, think about lengthening, reaching. Left hip back. You're doing great. And notice again, this is the same pattern that we'll now take into warrior three. So for a moment, lift up, arms reach. Slide that back foot in slightly. And then as you micro bend the front knee, gliding into warrior three. Back leg active, point reach. If back bending is easy for you, chances are you're in a back bend. Draw your lower ribs in, feel your tummy muscles for three, two, and one. Glide to the front of your mat. Mountain pose, feet together, palms together. Take a breath in, 
chair pose, hips back, twist to the right this time. Maybe you're floating or maybe the elbow comes outside the knee. See if the jaw could be soft, shoulders not tensing. Then inhale back to center, come to stand, mountain pose. Let's take three or four breaths here, settling things down. Calm breath leads to calm movement, which can lead to a calmer mind. Listen closely, palms come together. Sit the hips back, chair pose. Right elbow outside the left knee. Now, option to breathe here this time, or option to start to float the right foot up and back, kind of flamingo twisting. If that's easy for you, you might straighten the right leg out behind you, floating in space. Don't worry if you're not there, there's always time to practice and repeat. And then when you're ready, start to step the right foot back, folks. High lunge. Warrior two with the left foot forwards this time. Reversing, breath in. And gliding into half moon. Back leg, big leap this time. Control it. Top leg lifting, arms spreading. And now in space, revolve into warrior three. Take the arms back, rotate the hips. Stay strong, you can do it for three. Two, one, step forwards and give that left foot a little shake out, give this ankle a circle, oh. <laughs> and then step the feet back in. Just for a moment, take a moment to stand again, and settle the breath. And these pauses, these moments in between, so important, just as important as the postures themselves. Here we go, second side, palms coming together, inhale, sitting back into your chair pose, pause, inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, twisting to the right, left elbow outside the right knee or maybe floating, pause here, take a moment, option to breathe here or maybe bend the left knee, lift the heel or maybe tricky tricky, straighten the leg behind you, floating, hold it there. Keep the shoulders relaxed, palms very light, no pressure in the hands. And then wherever you are from here, stepping back into your high lunge, warrior two, back heel down. Here we go, reversing breath in, and a big leap forwards, half moon, control, lift, float, glide into it. Flex your back foot, straight in the back leg, arms wide and start to revolve into warrior three. You've got this. Nearly there, keep the back leg active. Point the foot now. Arms long, three, two, shoulders back, one. Step to the front of your mat. Give the right foot a little shake out this time. Oh. <laughs> Getting stronger in the feet and the ankles. Mountain pose. Settle the breath once more. Keep the heart rising like sunlight. Bring your feet hip distance apart now. From here, reach the arms forwards parallel to the floor. Sit the hips back, last chair pose here. Calm breath. Begin to lift the heels, lift onto the ball of the foot, rising up. Feel those calves working. Sit back a little bit deeper. From here, start to lower down, lower down, lower down, lower down, hold it. Keep the legs working, neck free, nearly there. And then now we're gonna sit down. Either use your fingertips beside you or start to float back onto the heels and huh, sitting down. So <laughs> straighten your legs out in front of you. From here, lift the chest, sit really tall, take your arms forwards. Bend the knees slightly, just enough to get the feet flat on the floor. Keep them quite far away from you though. From here, lift the chest, relax the arms, but keep them floated. Start to straighten the left leg in front of you, float the heel. Option to breathe here if this is strong enough, or pulsing, lift the leg for five. 
down, four. Heart up, three, two, one. Hold, keep the leg lifting, keep the chest lifting, and release. Straight to the second side, right leg lengthens, float the heel. Sit up as tall as you can, option to pulse for five, four, calm breath, three, two, and one. Hold, 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 hold. Feel those hip flexors getting stronger and release down. Oh. Take your feet a little bit wider. Let's just chill for a moment. Let the arms drape over the legs and you could even let the head hang down. And again, the practice, this interplay between effort and rest, strength and softness, yang and yin, like a dance. But taking time to savour the moments in between, the transitions. That's where the good stuff happens. Slowly come back up, bring your feet forwards, and we're going to curl down through the spine. Slide your feet in, place the feet flat, hip distance apart, or thereabouts. Spread your toes, and with your palms turned up, let the arms just totally chill, let them hang out by the sides of the body. Lifting into a low bridge, tuck the tailbone under, scoop the belly in as you lift, keep it low to begin. Now really tuck your tailbone under, feel your glutes on, you can give them a poke. Are they there? Yes, they're still there, thankfully. Squeeze the glutes and start to lift the hips. Option to breathe here if this feels enough, or option, shift weight into the left foot, straighten the right leg, point the foot. Keep the tailbone tucked. You could even take the foot and point it straight to the ceiling. We're gonna pulse, whether you're on one leg or two. Lower the hips down. Exhale, push up, three, and down, inhale. Two, arms relaxed, one, if you're on one leg, slowly switch sides. Left leg straightens as an option, or maybe both feet are still flat. Tuck the tailbone under, feel the glutes, lowering down, pressing up, three, two, last one, lift up, and release. From here, curl down through your spine, upper back, middle back, lower back. And gently bring your knees in towards your armpits. You could hold the knees if that feels okay, or maybe just the hands. Doing nothing, resting. From here, bring your left foot down, right knee comes in close to your chest, and then straighten the left leg. Let's take a final twist. Bring the bent knee over your body to the left. And you could open the arms or take them into this kind of cactus shape. And sense if you can keep both shoulders pretty much in contact with the floor, even if that means your knees a bit higher like this. And breathing with me now, take a deep inhale through your nose. Empty through your mouth. Coming back to center, and a simple switch. Left knee in, right leg long, and over we go. And again, deep breath in with me through your nose, fill up, expand the ribs, and let it all go exhaling. <sighs> Slowly coming back to center now. Let's just take a moment to rest, Shavasana. Now, if straightening the legs out feels a bit um, uncomfortable in your lower back, it can be nice to keep the knees bent, rest them, rest them against each other, or perhaps legs long. And taking one more deep breath in through your nose. Anything you need to let go of, anything that's no longer serving you, any tension, frustration, or stress, Exhale it through your mouth. <sighs> Just for a few precious moments, allowing your body to settle. 
for your bones to sink a little bit into the embrace of gravity of the earth. Knowing that life, much like the practice, is this interplay, this dance between effort and release, work and rest. And if it all feels like work, if it all feels like effort, perhaps just giving yourself that gift of rest or shavasana whenever you have a moment in your day. So folks, start to deepen your breath again. Wiggle your fingers and your toes and take a well-deserved stretch out. Take a big, long stretch. <sighs> Walk your feet in. Snuggle your knees into your chest. And we're gonna close sitting, either rock to one side or maybe in a simple way, rocking up. Just finding an easy seated position as we close. It might feel good to you simply to rest the hands on your legs or in your lap. Maybe it feels good to you to bring the palms together. It's an ancient and sacred gesture of acknowledgement. Closing eyes, bowing head to heart. Acknowledging that the thinking mind can take a moment to settle as we allow our heart a chance to lead our lives. And we'll close here. So thank you so much, folks. I hope this practice was helpful to you. If you have any comments, leave them below. I'd love to hear from you. And I wish you a beautiful day and a great week. Thanks.